This is Billy Carson, a.k.a. Forbidden Knowledge. I'm here with the special biohack series with Elizabeth Hoekstra. We're going to go deep into biohacking and talk about all the modalities that she actually references in her book. Yes. All right. Recipe to Elevated Consciousness. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Recipe to Elevated Consciousness. <laughs> check it out. Check, little, check it. A little shameless <laughs> plug there. What's up, guys? We're back. All right. Thank you come, for coming right back. I'm here with Elizabeth Hookstra. We're on the Biohack Your Best Life podcast. Yes. Okay. So what I want to do real quick to give everybody a notification that we're back on right now, I want to send a quick text message out to everyone and let them know to <clears throat> hop back in here on this link. We're back live again to talk about mushrooms. Well, we're talking, yes, we're talking about mushrooms. We're talking about fungi. Mushrooms are really the fruiting body of of fungi so they're like the apples on the apple tree and let me see probably about four or five years ago i got obsessed with fungi and mushrooms i don't know what happened to me but it's like they were calling me so i started researching them and studying them and the more i dug into the research about them the more interested i i got and i found out some amazing things and honestly i really think that that they are a part of our I don't know, consciousness almost. They're a part of this this whole universe. Um, and and they can control and they have controlled, I in my personal belief system, they've controlled many years. I mean, they've been here way before we have been here. I think it's 650 billion years or mm -hmm. something. I don't know. They, they've been here since the beginning. And they could, honestly, they could wipe us out in any second. And they could help us at any second, which they have been and they are doing. So I just find it really, really interesting. Uh, everything, everything mushroom, everything fungi. So mm -hmm. we're going to dig deep into it today. Yes, absolutely. Looking forward to it. It's going to be amazing. Yes. All right. Amazing, amazing. I sent that another text message. So hopefully everybody knows that we're back on again. We're doing back to back podcast tonight. Yes. Oh, yeah. My bad, you guys. So so this was supposed to be last Friday's podcast, but we weren't able to do that, um, do it. We were actually in the Bahamas for a team meeting, so we weren't able to go live about it. So it's been pushed off and pushed off and pushed off. So uh, we moved it to today, and Biohack will still be back tomorrow. I think we're doing uh, something about relationships or something. So, yeah. yes. Um, so, yeah, we're here, and we're going to talk everything about fungi today. And I'm really excited just because yeah. I'm obsessed with them still. And I had to refresh my my research about them because it's been so long since mm -hmm. I've really dug into the different case studies and the different, I don't know, specific things about fungi and mushrooms. So I had to, you know, dip back in a little bit today. And I just got re-obsessed. So yeah. I'm going to just, I mean, I have I have mushroom posters, you mm -hmm. know, <laughs> like I, yeah. It's, yeah, I'm just. Yeah, you're deep into the, the whole fungi trilogy <laughs> i am yeah. i am and i think it's interesting just like grounding just like earthing is some some things usually sometimes they call people and people just get interested in things like ancient civilizations mm -hmm. and yeah. ancient wisdom and knowledge for you you just dove right in and, mm -hmm. and researched everything ate everything up about it and so for me it's more this type of stuff mm -hmm. and i just man it's it's interesting okay. so we're gonna dig into some science and i'm gonna go through this powerpoint really quickly because i do want to just bounce back and forth with you because yeah. i know that there's a lot of information mm -hmm. about it and i just wanted to let you guys know a little bit of research and just some interesting properties and there's a lot in here about medicinal mushrooms which i take every single day so mm -hmm. we begin fungi facts because mm -hmm. we're fun guys that's right we are fun guys. We are fun guys. <laughs> it takes it's pretty much everything that exists as organic, biological in the world yes. as fungi. Yeah, everything, everything. I mean, when you take a deep breath in, you're breathing in ten spores of of mushrooms of fungi. Mm. Wow, incredible. Yeah, it is incredible. So we are fungi. We are always breathing fungi. We are always around fungus. I mean, it's the beginning and end of everything. Mm -hmm. It's the the decomposers of every organic thing on this planet. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the beginning of life. That's what, you know, brings nutrition back into the soil that plants are able to grow again. Right. So it's, I mean, it's the beginning and the end of everything. Right. Exactly. So what is fungi and mushrooms? Fungi can be single-celled or very complex multicellular organisms. They are found in just about any habitat, but most live on land, mainly soil or plant material rather than sea or fresh water. Fungi accounts for about half of the living organisms in our soil on the planet. So think about that. Half of our soil 
is fungi. Wow. That's a lot. That's I mean, a that's lot. the earth. That's the half of the earth. Half of the earth's body is fungi. Wow. You know that every step that you take on this planet, there's 300 miles of mycelium below every single footstep. Mm. I mean, it goes down trillions of miles. Mm. That's what the research I did today. It's, uh, they said trillions of miles right. down. Right. Fungi. Yeah, because it doesn't go in a straight line. No, no, no. It's all over the place. Exactly. Yeah. The mycelial network. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like my, Star Trek. <laughs> like Star Trek Discovery. Yeah, yeah. There actually is a, a TV series named Star Trek Discovery where they have a ship, a spaceship that navigates the mycelium network. Yes. Because it actually, they discovered that it connects all points in space and time. Yeah. And if you understand how to have the right technology, you can navigate through it. It's incredible. Yeah, it's really incredible. And they actually named the character after Paul Stamets who was a self-taught, self-researched guy. He never went to college for this, but he came. He became a mycologist just because mm -hmm. of his, his obsession with mushrooms. And I'll go into his story a little bit because I think it's really interesting yeah. uh, after this PowerPoint. So continuing, there is said to be between two to five million different species of fungi, but only 100,000 have been named. So there's so much out there that we have not discovered yet that we don't even know about. But I mean, five million, that's a lot. That's, <laughs> that's a, lot. a lot of different species. Yeah. Um, a group called the decomposers grow in the soil or on a dead plant matter where they play an important role in the cycling of carbon and other elements. Like I was talking about before, it's the beginning and the end of everything. So mm -hmm. they're decomposers. They take animal bodies in the forest and decompose that body. They reabsorb the nutrients back into the soil so different organisms can grow out of that. So mm -hmm. the beginning and end of everything. Yeah. Some are parasites of plants causing disease such as mildews, rusts, or scabs. A very small number of fungi cause diseases in animals. In humans, these include skin diseases such as athlete's foot, ringworm, and thrush. So interestingly enough, our DNA is almost, it's very similar with fungi. Mm. Half of our DNA is is basically half, I mean, it's, it's the same as, as fungi. Wow. So we're closer in our DNA to fungi than we are with plants. Hmm. animals, anything. Wow. Which is why we can actually get sick more more so than animals can with by fungi. Because hmm. it's so, so compatible with this. Yeah, exactly. That's incredible. It is incredible. So mushrooms and toadstools are only a small component of fungi equivalent to the flowers or fruits and plants. The main part of fungus is in its root system known as mycelium, which we just touched on, which comprises of web-like threads called hyphae that extend through soils and other moist environments. So Hyphae is really interesting in that it can actually penetrate through stone, mm. hard stone. Wow. So they, it jerks <laughs> me out, man. So this, this organism mm -hmm. can literally cut through stone, wow. hard stone that, that we can't even physically, you know, yeah. we can't physically crack these things, but right. fungi, hyphae can cut right through. Yes. Wow. Wild. So crazy. I think it's awesome. Okay, the different types of... I, I'm sorry, I'm nerding out about this stuff. It gets me so excited. <laughs> it gets me so excited. Because I, I really believe that there are so many discoveries that we can find that are associated with fungi and mushrooms that can literally change the world mm -hmm. and advance us technologically so far into the future. Yeah. Right now, if we just focused on this, this could actually save the... Sorry, freaking world. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it could save, I think it could yeah. save the world. Yeah. I mean, they can break down any organic matter and mm. they can even absorb oil mm. so oil spills the yeah. the solution to oil spills could be fungi right right wow i mean it's just so much that the, this can yeah. do that could help the earth could help the people mm -hmm. could help everything can they break everything. down plastics Plastic. I think that Paul Stamets just did a, a study on on that specifically. Yeah. And I think that they can. I wow. think that they can. That's incredible. If they can yeah. break down plastic that's like global changing yeah i know exactly but wow. they don't want to put the money or anything towards this and, mm -hmm. and i just it, it blows my mind because if we were to put i don't know three trillion dollars that we've put towards cancer to fungi mm -hmm. and how it can help this this planet mm -hmm. i mean think of the the things we had discovered oh man it'd be, it'd be mind-blowing exactly yeah Exactly. So, I mean, yeah, I'll keep going. So fungi are subdivided in the basis of their life cycles and presence of their structure of their fruiting body and arrangement of types 
of and types of spores they produce. There are three major groups of fungi, and there, one is multicellular filamentous molds, and another one is macroscopic filamentous fungi that form large fruiting bodies. Sometimes the group is referred to as mushrooms, but the mushroom is just a part of a fungus that we see above ground, which is known as the fruiting body. So mushrooms are actually composed of hyphae, really, really cut, tightly com compacted together. So it's mycelium, mm. but it's just so tightly compacted together and it shoots out of the soil. So that's what you actually see. Mm. Usually the fungi and the hyphae and the mycelium is underneath the soil. So you never really see it. Gotcha. Um, and then we have single celled microscopic yeasts. So if we didn't have fungi, we wouldn't have beer. We wouldn't have wine. We wouldn't have any anything that bread, mm -hmm. you know, anything that uses yeast. Yeah. We wouldn't have it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You can read this one. Am I boring you? No, no, <laughs> so no, no, no. I'm, like, I'm, think, mm -hmm. I'm thinking about, no, I'm not the border because I'm thinking about, wow, the impact of removing fungi. It literally, I don't think this, I don't think oh, anybody, nobody could survive. No, no, the planet wouldn't even survive. We wouldn't survive. The planet itself would die. Yeah, I think so. I'm just coming to terms with this now. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> no, hmm. I'm over here down. I'm like, my brain is processing this <laughs> because I'm realizing like, wow, wait a minute. Yeah. I know that bees are really important, but man, fungi, I without that, we got nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And there was actually a time on earth that fungi ruled the whole planet. Yeah. There was mushrooms that were eight stories tall. Mm. They they actually discovered a mushroom or something that they, they these scientists, they thought it was a tree. Oh. They thought it was a fossilized tree that they had discovered or found some, yeah. some sort of remnants of it. Mm -hmm. But then they realized it's actually a mushroom. Goodness. So tall, yeah. freaking tall. They thought it was a, a tree. They didn't even pin it until I think 19, the 1970s or mm. something. I so, it was, wow, mushroom. Yeah, yeah, crazy. Incredible. So yeah. yeah. Spores. Spores are specialized structures with a protective coat that shields them from harsh environmental conditions such as drying out and high temperatures. They are so small that between they're they are so small that between five hundred and a thousand can fit on a pinhead. Well, that's in, that's incredibly small. Mm -hmm. Yeah, goodness, five hundred to a thousand can fit on a pinhead. Wow. Yeah, that's why we breathe them. That's I why mean, you breathe them super, right in. Yeah, they go right in. Micro microscopic. Yeah, can't even see. yeah. a ten centimeter. Uh, a 10 cm diameter cap can produce up to 100 million spores per hour. You can swallow 10 different strains of spores when you take a deep breath in. And this is how fungus reproduces. Yes. So we talked about that. Mm -hmm. about you literally, if you take a deep breath, yeah. you're swallowing 10 different strains of fungus. Mm. Really, really wild. So I wanted to put some fun facts about fungi on here. Um, Fungus-like organisms found in South Africa, mycelium fossils in lava, 2.4 billion years old. That's the oldest record of a multicellular organism found on Earth. Mm. 2.4 billion years old, they found a mycelium fossil. Wow. That's insane. That's insane. 2.4 billion years. Wow. <laughs> that, that's a lot of freaking years. Yeah. Um, a 113 million year old mushroom fossil was found in Brazil. Again, that's so long ago. Crazy. So 650 years ago, the animal kingdom branched off from fungi. So split from fungi. It mm -hmm. was fungi and then the animal kingdom branched off from fungi. Mm. Wild. Yeah. Um, okay. So we are closely related in DNA to fungi. Then hold on, I got to put my uh, phone on. Do not disturb. Okay. Um, we are closely closer related in DNA to fungi than animals or plants. We share nearly half of our DNA, which I said earlier. Mm -hmm. That's wild to me. So we we stem from fungi. Yeah. Because fungi is way older than us, right? Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? Yeah. Oh, it's way older. Okay. So so if you take the fungi that uh, out of our body, then we can't. A human being, an avatar body, can't, can't survive. Exist. Can't, can't exist. exist because half of our DNA stems is is the same as fungi. Right. And fungi is older than us. Wow. So wild. So wait, how old is the human avatar? Do you know? Uh, well, this version, this Homo sapiens sapiens, is about two hundred thousand years old. But we know that hominids were on this planet, which would be our cousins, for uh, a couple million, couple of million years at least. Mm, okay. Yeah. But not six hundred and fifty million years ago. No. Not two point four billion years ago. No, not even close. Yeah. So think about that. Yeah. Crazy. So another thing to think about too. So if with, fungi is way older than than this avatar, mm -hmm. right? Where did consciousness come from? Mm. Like, I don't know. That just messed my head up. 
Just a thought. Well, if the earth is primarily 50% of this mycelium network, mm -hmm. then the earth is conscious and the mycelium network could be what we what we have as um, neurons. Neurons. <laughs> in our brain. So the earth is communicating, using this mycelium network to communicate, um, you know, with itself and with, with other life on this planet. Mm -hmm. through the mycelium network mm -hmm. and the mycelium network also makes earth sentient. Right. Right. It does. Yeah. <laughs> it's just thought mm -hmm. earth is a big brain. Yeah. And the mycelial network can create thought just like neurons in our brain. Exactly. Holy crap. Okay. Fungi inherited the earth for a time. I talked about that early, earlier. Fungi can break down anything hydrocarbon based, any organic material, anything, anything. I mean, everything basically on this planet is based is hydrocarbon based. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is some powerful stuff. Yeah. It can even break down diesel waste. It mm. absorbs oil. Wow. That's wild. Wild. Now, yeah. this is a fact I told you earlier that I thought was super cool because you actually created a battery. Yeah. So I wanted to kind of put this in your head. Maybe you could do some of this. So right. a portobello mushroom heated to 2000 degrees turned into a lattice of carbon nano ribbon that can be used in battery design because of the surface area for storing energy. That's incredible. Yes, I know. So if you look in this PowerPoint picture, you can mm -hmm. see all the little tiny, tiny, you yeah. know, what are filaments mm -hmm. or, or just, just, I mean, the surface area of that yeah. can hold energy can store and store energy. energy. That's incredible. Yeah. But also, if you can create a carbon nano ribbon, uh, you can weave them together. Mm -hmm. And we know that carbon nanofibers are stronger than steel. So if you can if you can do that, you can create incredible technology, uh, incredible technologies that are extremely light, mm. but very strong. Mm. Mm. Crazy. Yeah. Wow. I mean, they could make they they've actually tried to make houses out of mycelium before because mm. you can compact it into bricks, heat it up, I think. And then it can actually withstand mm. temperature and a bunch of different stuff. So yeah. and it can and then it's organic. So it can break down into there. So it's not damaging anything. Right. Right. So they've they've recently done that. So now we're going to go into medicinal mushrooms. And these are just my favorites and something that I take every single day that you've actually started taking, too. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I love it. I love it. So the reishi mushroom. How does this mushroom help the body? According to one article, reishi mushrooms contain polysaccharides, peptides and tri tri uh, tr Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Triterpenoids. Triterpenoids. That's yeah. not how you say it. I was saying it in my head when I was typing this. Um, yeah. <laughs> Triterpenoids. Triterpenoids. Yeah. I don't, I don't think that's how you say it. My brain was saying something different when I was typing. <laughs> okay. Anywho. <laughs> which provides their health benefits. The polysaccharides, which is important. Um, and reishi mushrooms are associated with immune function. And if taken over time, reishi can significantly support the immune system. It can also support restful sleep and a calm mind, reduce occasional stress and restlessness, and can support lung and respiratory health and support balanced blood sugar levels. It's important. It is super important. So I always take reishi in the evening mm -hmm. because I notice how it calms my mind and body. Mm -hmm. And interestingly enough, you can read that because it's it's ancient. Yeah. Reishi. The history of this mushroom. Reishi has a 2,000-year-old written record in medicinal text. Most notably, Chinese Taoist monks wrote their meditative practices. Chinese, uh, wait, sorry, monks, monks wrote wrote of it to promote calmness as well as to enhance their meditative practices. Chinese royalty used reishi to promote longevity and held this mushroom to immor uh, held this mushroom of immortality in high esteem. Reishi is listed as the most cherished among superior herbs which are considered to support a long life, support healthy aging, boost key, and make the body light. Yeah, so it's also known as the mushroom of immortality yeah. in Eastern medicine. So this is a 2,000-year-old written record. So they, this is documented mm -hmm. that they've been using this mushroom for health and for meditation and for spirituality, all of these things to boost chi. I mean, all of this stuff and make the body light. Yeah. All of this, I mean, they've been using this mushroom for a long time. So yeah. it's super beneficial. Yeah, I've been taking it now for uh, maybe a month. Yeah, I think yeah. a month. Yeah, yeah. And I think that you've been sleeping better. I have. I've actually been getting more uh, calm uh, sleeps uh, in restful periods, mm -hmm. I should say. And um, I already have a pretty calm demeanor, but I can tell that it just gives you this extra little bit of zen. Yeah. 
And yeah. I think it really does. I think that we should try to take it one day and then meditate and see if it helps meditation because I've never mm -hmm. done that before. Yeah. I just take it before before I go to bed. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so this is my absolute favorite. My favorite mushroom of all the mushrooms that there is, except for I love I love magic mushrooms too. Um, for not because I, I take them all the time, but just because of the the properties that really help change people's lives if you do it correctly and you don't abuse the the mushrooms. But we'll touch on that in a little bit. Um, lion's mane mushroom. So this mushroom is magic. This mushroom has helped me so much over the past five six years. Um, I did a lot back in the day when I was younger and I didn't feel like my cognition was up to par as you know, the same as it was when I was growing up because I was always very smart. I felt like I lost my brain function for a while. So mm. I really noticed a change when I started taking lion's mane every single day. Mm. I, I, I noticed a complete change and I just got back on it. So I'm, I'm excited to see the next couple months because um, sometimes yeah. I lose words and that's because of, you know, it could be because of, because of, it could be because of a lot of different reasons. Yeah. I want to check for toxic metal poisoning in my brain and, you know, stuff like that, because you shouldn't miss words. You shouldn't stutter. Nothing in your brain should, should not fire correctly all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't do it often, yeah. but I notice when I do. So, you know, that's part of biohacking, kind of figure out what's going on and then fix it. Mm -hmm. So lion's mane could definitely help that. Mm -hmm. um, lion's mane is full of a multitude of important compounds, such as beta glucans, which are immunomodulating antioxidants and neuroprotective phytonutrients. In vitro, in vitro research suggests that certain co compounds found in lion's mane may help induce nerve growth factor synthesis in nerve cells. That's so important because you stop producing that after you're 30. As you mm -hmm. age, you stop producing that. Mm -hmm. um, this goes along with findings from animal research that lion's mane promotes nerve tissue growth and supports motor function. And research in adults with mild memory problems associated with aging found that taking lion's mane extract had better brain function compared with control participants who did not ingest the mushroom. All of this indicates that lion's mane mushroom is an amazing helper, helper for a healthy brain function and may even support neurogenesis. Mm. Wow. That's crazy. So yeah. I, I give you that too. Yeah, you giving me this stuff. I, you, you, I just see you putting these mushroom liquids into my water, and yeah. I just, I just drank it. Yeah. Wow, this is good stuff. No, it's it's freaking amazing, and wow. they've actually done a lot of case studies on this, proving all of this, wow. proving all of this stuff. So, um, if you guys know about Paul Stamets, um, you know, like I talked about him a little bit earlier. Um, I'll go into his story later, but he has this special stack that he recommends for people to take. Um, in some places, psilocybin mushrooms are legal. So I'm not telling anyone to do anything illegal. So don't do anything illegal, guys. But Paul Stamets says that this stack actually helps grow new nerve cells mm. and yeah. helps brain function completely. Mm. I mean, then you guys can go back and look through this. I'm not going to read the stack. But this protocol revolves around a nootropic vitamin complex comprised of niacin, lion's mane mushroom, and the crucial pro-drug in magic mushroom psilocybin. Stamets refers to this as the stacking formula for epigenetic neurogenesis. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. I actually tried this before. Um, the mycologist was promoted to help develop the blend due to the striking rise of neurodegenerative con degenerative conditions such as Alzheimer's disease. He theorizes that the combination of these chemicals can be useful in the treatment of PTSD and regeneration of visual and auditory neurons. Mm. In healthy individuals, the stack could potentially be used to enhance creativity and expand cognitive function. Wow. So I actually went on this stack um, probably about four years ago. And like I said, I was my brain was firing. It was yeah. crazy. Wow. I, was, I was not missing words. I think I went for a year mm. without missing words. Yeah. Um, so this stack, you should take it five days and then um, break for two to three days. And I didn't stay on it very long. I was probably on it for maybe a month and a half mm -hmm. just because I didn't want to, I don't know. I just, I, I like to try different things and implement different things into mm -hmm. my daily life just to see what makes differences and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. And I really, really did notice a huge difference mm -hmm. with this. So you guys can go back and, and get that stack if, uh, if you want. Yeah. Um, okay. Turkey tail mushroom, another one of my favorites, which is, I think your favorite. Mm -hmm. It's the one that I was giving you when we were in Boston. Mm -hmm. And actually yeah. just recently in the Bahamas, too. Yeah. Um, so turkey tail boosts immune function by stimulate, stimulating cytokine production, increasing natural killer cells, and through other immune boosting functions. 
protein-bound polysaccharides, PBP, found in turkey tail have the most research-backed immune supportive effects. These PBP compounds can enhance key types of immune cells like T cells when used alone in combination or in combination with synergistic herbs. Turkey tail is a safe mushroom to use long-term with a context of proper medical treatment. Turkey tail contains one of the highest amount of be- amounts of beta-glucans of all mushrooms, which can keep our immune systems healthy when used over an extended period of time. So interesting story about Paul Stamets. His mother had stage four cancer. They mm. told her that she was not about to live any longer. She called him, yeah. was crying, and you know thought she was going to kick the bucket really, really soon. And he was actually at the same time doing a study on turkey tail mushrooms. Mm. And so he wanted to give her these turkey tail mushrooms because he was discovering all these immune boosting functions of this specific mushroom. So he started giving her, I forgot what he said, uh, the amount of turkey tail he was giving her daily. Mm. But and she was taking her other cancer medicines as well. Um, but I don't think she ever went on chemo because I would have uh, she was old. I think she was 80 something years old oh, when yeah. they, they diagnosed her with this. Yeah. So he started giving her this turkey tail mushrooms daily. Mm-hmm. And it was so crazy. He brought her on stage. She's 89 years old and mm. has zero sign of cancer wow. anymore. Wow. Yes. That's how powerful these mushrooms are. Yeah. And they have case studies now. So now they prove. The functionality of of all of these things yeah and what's incredible before you go on these the mushrooms you've been giving me they have no i haven't had any uh psychedelic side, side effects oh no this is just medicinal mushrooms that don't give you any psychedelic those particular ones right right these are just medicinal mushrooms the the mushrooms that give you psychedelic effects are actually um they have psilocybin in them yeah which is the purpley blue kind of um like like color that you see through mushrooms Mm -hmm. so once you see that through mushrooms you can know oh that's a magic mushroom and if i take that i'm gonna go to a different dimension Mm -hmm. but these are just medicinal mushrooms yeah so they do not contain psilocybin so you can take them daily uh-huh. and they won't mess mess you up. You right. won't feel any exactly any psychedelics. So cordyceps mushroom. So this is a really, really interesting species of fungus. You can't like look at these pictures. It's so scary. I mean, it's freaking me <laughs> out. I had Wild. to find these. I had to find these pictures yeah. online. But I mean, this this type of fungi is so interesting to me because it's parasitic. So mm. what it does is it can actually it can it can go into the exoskeleton once it gets into the inside the body of these ants or caterpillars beetles moss these different insects it eats up their organs basically Mm -hmm. sucks up their nutrients and then can spout the cordyceps mushroom out of their bodies Mm -hmm. and and one type of cordyceps can actually go into an ant's brain and I think control it. It can control it. Yes. yes. And yeah. the ant will go up to the highest point of wherever it can get to. And mm-hmm. then its head will explode so that the spores can disperse everywhere. Right. <laughs> Freaking crazy. Yeah. There's videos online of uh, bugs infected with cordyceps. Yeah. And the cordyceps fungi, these bugs are dead. Oh, right. They're, you already, that they're, video. they're that already dead. Crazy. These are dead bugs that the cordyceps have now taken over like the zombie. Yeah. And control them and control these these bugs and have them walking around and crawling around and That'd everything be crazy. else. Crazy. That's how powerful yeah. fungi is. Right. Can you imagine? It could get into us. I'm gonna talk about a, a strain of fungi in a little bit, but imagine if it wanted to do this to humans. It could. Exactly. It just doesn't want to. Right. The second that it wants to, it can oh, do that. We're, we're having a, a zombie, zombie apocalypse. apocalypse. We talked about that earlier. Yeah. A zombie apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> it's super crazy. Mm-hmm. So the cordyceps mushroom is an energy boosting fungi. Certain studies have shown that cordyceps can increase the production of ATP, the compound that gives cells energy in rodents and also humans. So ATP is what fires our mitochondria. So we need it for energy and we need it for our cellular health. So cordyceps are, are really, really great for that. Um, this is why cordyceps is a good mushroom supplement to take for exercise and physical performance. Two controlled clinical studies have found cordyceps improves exercise performance in healthy older individuals. So I actually take this for my pre-workout and it gives me a little extra boost. I can feel it right away and it's amazing. Um, pre- preliminary research in humans, animals, and test tubes also indicate that cordyceps support healthy levels of inflammation and immune markers. 
Related cordyceps species may have hormone regulatory properties shown in research studies to increase libido in women and improve sperm health in men. Cordyceps support kidney health in certain populations as well. So these are really, really great for so many different functions yeah. and help circulation and blood flow as well. Yes. Yeah, so guys, if you're struggling in bed, get some cordyceps. <laughs> Okay, so look, zombie fungi, that's what the, the other name of it is. And look at what it does to these these insects. Mm -hmm. And that's actually the cordyceps mushroom that's spouting out of these insects. Wow. Really, really crazy. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, last but not least, shiitake mushrooms. Um, I love to cook with shiitake mushrooms. Mm. I have some in the refrigerator right now that mm. I'm going to cook with some steaks that we'll have maybe tomorrow. Um, shiitakes have, have a ton of really, really great properties. Mm. Um, it's great for immunity and liver health. It supports the cardiovascular system. Um, there's a polysaccharide in shiitake mushrooms, and it's shown great promise as an immune system boosting agent. Mm. Research has also discovered a compound in shiitake that can maintain cholesterol already within a healthy range. The mushrooms are great to cook with and are also loaded with B vitamins, helping to modulate blood sugar levels in the body and support healthy inflammation response. Mm. Shiitake mushrooms have been shown to increase IgA, a key immune cell, emo, immunoglobin, uh, associated with our first line of defense when it comes to immunity. Shiitake mushrooms can decrease C-reactive protein, a blood marker that detects inflammation. Selenium helps to combat free radical damage to help support better skin health. If you have a bunch of free radicals eating up your cells and everything, you age faster, mm -hmm. you get wrinkles. I mean, it basically eats up all the, the collagen in, in your system. So mm -hmm. selenium helps combat that yeah. and selenium is is very high it's, um shiitake mushrooms have a lot of selenium in it. Mm. Wow. um they also have one of the highest amounts of natural copper mm -hmm. and copper is an important comp component in collagen production which makes up a large percentage of mm. skin composition wow yeah yeah so i can keep these wrinkles away longer yeah exactly okay. i've been giving you all this stuff i know you don't really like the taste because you don't drink alcohol and this is actually an alcohol-based liquid yeah um but i mean i really think that that you just bite the bullet and just <laughs> knock one back. Listen, guys, this one night, <laughs> this one night, I give him all this, my my mix of mushrooms, right? I'm like, here, drink it. Oh, my God. And he, he smelled it. I mean, they don't smell the best. Yeah. Um, I take I Life like, Cycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you didn't you didn't like it. Yeah, there's a combination that you give me now that doesn't have that smell. Yeah, yeah. There's, I guess one of them you left out. Yeah. Whatever it was. <laughs> Was, he was like, <laughs> and then he threw it in the sink. And he, <laughs> I, was like, I would toss it in the sink, and I was like drinking an empty cup. See, babe, I'm drinking it. <laughs> Which is so whack because you could have just given it to me. <laughs> you wasted my golden mushrooms. <laughs> I'm sorry, but now that you got the right formula for me, I drink them every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good. Okay, so last, this is last but not least. Um, this is uh, my last mushroom that I take daily is the chaga mushroom. Mm -hmm. Chaga has been studied for its use in skin conditions and stomach disorders. Chaga has over 200 preclinical pre animal and cell studies showing promising health benefits, including such as being high in antioxidants, supporting digestion, immune support, modulating inflammation, containing key antimicrobial substances, and being adaptogenic. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. These are all really, really great things. Chaga grows primarily on birch trees, and much of the mass itself is actually wood fiber and not mycelium. Many medical compounds from birch, like but like beet, I don't know how to say this, butylin, butylin, yeah, butylin, and butylin acid end up in the chaga. The outer black layer on the canker contains high amounts of melanin, which can also be beneficial for our skin. So the chaga mushroom is is a mushroom, but not really a mushroom, mm. but it's a mushroom. So, yeah. A mushroom that contains melanin. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay, and that's my slides for you guys. So. Right. I mean, how do we get back on? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. I mean, these are these are the, the mushrooms that I take every single day. Mm -hmm. Every single day I take these. Yeah. I take, um, it's a specific type of, of of mushroom that I take because it has a ton of research behind it. And these guys are obsessed with mushrooms and fungi and it's called life cycle. And if you guys want to get life cycle, you can actually get 10% off. If you use my coupon code, Liz tech, L I S T E C H. 
I made that a long time ago because mm. I, I really wanted to work with these guys. You know, when I when I find something oh, that yeah. I really like, yeah. I like to go to the source yep. and dive deep into the research and then get involved somehow. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah. you do. I just, I mean, it's it's that I know for a fact that they have really really great products because I've been taking them for years and I mm. don't know why I stopped. Mm. I stopped taking them for probably about two to three years, mm. but I've just now got back on them. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The more that you take these mushrooms and fungi, the more you, um, the more you kind of want to research them mm -hmm. and want to know about them and want to know about everything, you know, yeah. everything about them. So. Right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. No, definitely. Mm -hmm. It's really amazing how, um, we have so many cures on this planet just right here. And these few mushrooms that you talked about are so many cures to so many problems mm -hmm. that doctors are sending people to the pharmacies to get, medicines for yes that create side effects that create more side effects yes when all they literally have to do is just simply uh take these mushrooms for those particular same uh things now we're not saying we're not doctors and we're not giving you any doctor advice we're not telling you we're physicians what we are saying is if you research these things and you find that they have some properties that intrigue you mm -hmm. You may want to look into them. Yes, exactly. That's what we're trying to say, guys. Yeah, look into them. Yeah. I mean, these things have changed my life, and I love to share what has uh, changed my life mm -hmm. because I think it can help a lot of people. Because if it did for me, it can do for a lot more people. Yeah. Um, let me type this in here. Okay. People are asking. L-I-S-T-C-H. Okay. She just so, dropped the link in the chat for you guys with the coupon code for your discount. This is where she's been buying these things for years. Mm -hmm. And I have been on them now myself. Yes. I, I've seen, I, you've had them since I met you, but mm -hmm. just only been out. I've only been taking them for about a month. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so. Guys, can you imagine his brain on, on Lion's Mane? Listen. I mean, 5% more neural activity. We talked about this with Dr. Amen. I'll take it. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'll if take you as much as I can that, get. Convert that into numbers. So if you take 100% of what you have right now in your brain function and convert that into numbers mm -hmm. when it comes to the amount of abundance that you have, 5% more of that converts into skyrocketing numbers. Next level. Exactly. Next level. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So anyways, I mean, it's just really, really, these are great, you guys. You could do some more research. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about magic mushrooms? Yeah, sure. I know people. I know people you know, are interested You're, in those. You know a lot more about that than me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Magic mushrooms. So psilocybin. Psilocybin is the compound in the mushroom that actually gives you those hallucinogenic effects. Um, so I actually took a hero's dose, which is a five gram dose of magic mushrooms before. I did it one time because I didn't want to fall off the deep end. I feel like a lot of people, um, I don't find it wrong. And I don't find, I don't think that people, um, you know, I just, I don't, I don't look down upon people that do it. Mm -hmm. What I don't appreciate is people that don't respect the medicine. It's a sacrament. It's yeah. sacred. It's right. a sacred plant that heals people, mm -hmm. that connects people to different parts of themselves and different dimensions and, mm -hmm. and different things. And when people are like, oh, I'm going to get all messed up on magic mushrooms and go to this party. I'm like, yeah. wow, you're disrespecting yeah. the medicine. The, the the it actually has spirit. Yeah. That that this this beautiful it's alive. compound. It's a living, yes. it's a living sentient being. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So I don't appreciate when people disrespect it, although I don't judge. I mean, it's just mm. I have my own opinion. So um I took a, hero, a heroic dose of mushrooms years and years and years ago. And I did it very intentionally because I wanted to connect with some root trauma that I had and I mm. couldn't I couldn't consciously feel it. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to really just find out what was going on with me. So I really did it with, with pure intention going into it. Mm -hmm. And I got my, my answer mm. through it. And wow. out of that, I became a different person. Wow. And it helps me so much, mm. so much. And I still, to this day, I still to this day have a different perspective mm -hmm. about a lot of things. Yeah. So, you know, back in the day in the 1970s, 60s, 50s, they were doing a ton of research on ma magic mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, they had the war on drugs, huh. um, which canceled crazy. everything. Right. Yeah. It is crazy. It is crazy. The war on drugs, yeah. except 
yet there's Vicodin and um, Xanax and mm -hmm. Adderall and all these pills that are dispersed mm -hmm. 5 billion a year in just America. Yeah. I mean, it's freaking ridiculous. But yet we have war on drugs. Yeah. Anywho, so back in the 1970s, they canceled all that research when it was actually really changing people's lives and helping people. And that's what the research was showing mm -hmm. and the case studies were showing. Yeah. But they turned it all around and made people terrified of this and made it look like if you took it, you're so crazy and yeah. then it's going to do these crazy things. You're going to go fly off a, right. a roof <laughs> if you take this. I mean, yeah. they just put a really, really negative spin on it. Mm -hmm. So recently, which makes me very happy, they've been opening that research back up. I think that they even at John Hopkins started to doing some psychedelic research again. Mm. So which is great. Really, really awesome. Yeah. Because this can literally change lives. Right. Change lives. Research it. Look at the case studies, guys. Research this stuff. I mean, there's multiple stories of people that that were hopeless. I mean, mm. a lot of um, cancer patients that that don't you know, are, are depressed and scared mm -hmm. will, you know, were researched and did this and it changed their whole perspective and they became, they weren't afraid of death. Yeah. And they just, they let all the fear and, and depression go. Right. I yeah. know quite a few people, quite a few people that it has changed, mm -hmm. but I also know quite a few people that took too much and abused it. Like you were saying, mm -hmm. everything within reason, guys, everything within reason, you must have yeah. balance. Yeah. How are you able to do these things where you, you can do something and then just stop? How, how, how do you do that? <laughs> like, how do you do that? Well, that's, that's because my consciousness is more powerful than the, this stimulus, this, mm. this um, third dimensional things. Yeah. My consciousness is more powerful right. than, than these things. And I don't ever want anything to control me outside of me. Mm. So I don't let it anymore, which I used to. I used to smoke cigarettes. I used to drink. I used to take pills. I did a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. So mm -hmm. those substances controlled me. Yeah. So I made a promise to myself when I became very conscious and, and really dove into my shadow work and my healing work mm -hmm. that I would never again let anything outside of myself control mm. me. Wow. Well, you've mm -hmm. done a great job because, man. You know what? The next thing is, is caffeine and coffee because we've been going. I've been drinking way too much, uh, <laughs> way too much can, coffee. Well, you can do that. That's easy. I know. That's super easy. Yeah. But I need to start. You know. <laughs> I mean, if that's your biggest problem, I, I'm I'm in good shape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got nothing to worry about over here. If you're worried about kids and caffeine, yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, that's 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 the power though of of being truly conscious, mm -hmm. right? Of being truly aware and being truly in control. Mm -hmm. But you have to do the work to be able to to control yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to do the work. Before I did the trauma work, before I did the healing work, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't control myself. Mm -hmm. Things outside of me controlled me. I thought I needed to have a drink when I went to a party. Yeah. I thought I needed to have a drink to to socially interact with people. Mm -hmm. But now I know that that's not the case. I don't I don't need that because right. I love the way I feel like this. And, and you know what? When we go out with people and we don't drink because we don't mm -hmm. and they drink, we laugh just as much or even more right. than they laugh. Right. We have just as much or even more fun that right. we can actually remember right. than they can even have fun or rem remember. I know. I know. Because they're too zooted to remember anything, <laughs> and we're totally sober. I know. And we I can mean, have just as much of a good time. Exactly. Just as much, if not more. If yeah. not more, because we're we're, we're aware we're the whole aware. time. We're aware. Exactly. We're there and conscious the whole time, so we yeah. know all of our actions. We know all of everyone else's actions, yeah. and we're in full control of ourselves. Yeah. There's nothing that's underlying that's controlling anything. Exactly. Plus, we don't wake up with hangovers or sick, sick yeah. or anything. You're not gonna see forbidden on TMZ, that's for sure. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> yeah, gonna happen. You, I heard you say that on the podcast <laughs> earlier. I was dying. <laughs> I was dying. Yeah, they don't know what that means, but mm. there's a there was an Egyptian tour guide that we had in one particular section of Egypt. Mm. Uh, and he, he just was uh, apologizing for something when he said, sorry. <laughs> so we kind of uh, adopted that. <laughs> and we use it all the time all now. All the time. Even Gabe, even my son. <laughs> my son uses it. He tries. Yeah. Shout out to Ramsey in Egypt. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. What's up, Sam? Uh, We're going to see him very soon. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very soon. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But moral of the story, guys, is is do your shadow work. Do your, do your trauma work. Mm -hmm. And... Then, I mean, life just opens up to you. I yeah. saw it. We, we've seen it multiple times in the past couple of weeks, even, mm -hmm. that people feel like they need to drink in order to let loose and have fun and relax. Yeah. And they they wanted 
us to drink too. Yeah. And they were like, well, just, you know, just have a drink, just have a drink, just yeah. have a drink. And it's like, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't like, I, don't know, the, I just didn't want to. I'm the peer pressure, uh, you know, uh, person of the peer pressure, I guess you want to say evader. I, I evade peer pressure. Like it doesn't have any effect on me. Uh, it never has since I was a kid. There's nothing that anybody can tell me to do to join whatever they're trying to do or accomplish. If I say no, that's the end of it. No means no. Mm -hmm. There's no kind of pressure you can apply to me. There's nothing you can do to trick me or make me feel like I'm going to make me feel sad or I'm not part of the group or the in crowd. There's nothing anybody can say to me to make me do something I don't want to do. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, you're good at that. Yeah. You're good at that. And I'm now good at that. Yeah. Because once you're in full control of yourself, nothing outside of you can control you or yeah. sway you in any type of way. Right. So that's all about doing the work, though, because when you feel a little bit empty inside or when you feel, I don't know, your self-worth isn't all the way there, you feel like you have to swing people's ways to please mm -hmm. them because there are people pleasers. You don't yeah. have any boundaries. Yeah. So once you do the work, you create boundaries. Mm -hmm. You don't let people sway you. You know, it's it's different. It's yeah. very different. Stand your ground, guys. Mm -hmm. Draw a line in the sand and yes. stand your ground. Yes. Yeah, don't let outside uh, outside um, sources influence your consciousness. Mm -hmm. Be who you're supposed to be. Yes, you exactly. exactly. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. Mm. And those re the reason why I don't do those things is because I saw what it did to family members of mine. Mm. Uh, and I saw how it literally destroyed their lives. Mm -hmm. And so in my mind... yeah. Um, why in the world would I want to do that? So I made a conscious decision that I wouldn't do that. And so um, I don't, I just don't do it. And mm -hmm. I don't have any urge or need to do it. Uh, and guess what? I saved a lot of money by switching to no alcohol. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all that money I saved, I invested mm -hmm. and built businesses and everything else. And some of my friends would look at me and be like, how did you, how you get this? How are you buying these foreign cars? And how, this is back in the 90s. Mm -hmm. I'm already driving foreign cars in the 90s. And um, I'm like, you have the same amount of money I have. You just don't realize it. They're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, well, add up all the money you're spending on drugs and mm -hmm. alcohol and nightclubs. And then you know, take that money and invest it into something that's going to compound mm -hmm. and multiply that over three to five years. All of a sudden, you can do what I'm doing. You can travel like I'm traveling. You can buy this car like I'm. My car payment is less than your drug pain, your drug bill. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. It's just all a matter of, of perspective and uh, and understanding, you know, there's other ways to have fun and you can have fun doing a lot of things. And mm -hmm. these these mushrooms, uh, if you are in a situation where, you know, medicinally you need them, they can actually help you. Yes, they can actually help. But just just don't take it to the abuse point. Use right. it for what it's supposed to be done. Mm -hmm. the, the assistance that is supposed to help with your consciousness and your body. Yes. Uh, but don't push beyond that limit. Right. Right. Exactly. Point blank. Yeah. Super easy. I mean, we could do some quick numbers. This is really crazy. I used to have to get four bottles of wine wow. a week. Goodness. To to drink myself. Four mm. bottles a week. Mm. So I would spend, because I like great wine, about 50, 50 bucks a bottle at the lowest. Good grief. Four, 50 times four. That's $200 a week. That is $800 a month. That is $9,600 a year. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Yeah. So, I mean, you look guys... at my dad. My dad smoked three packs of cigarettes a day. Yeah. Plus all the drugs that he took. He mm -hmm. probably was spending, I don't know, a hundred bucks a day on mm -hmm. smoking and drinking. Yes. And drugs. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he, he, I mean, you add that up until his age of death, which was 74. Unfortunately, he got, um, you know, got abused by police, which actually was a catalyst for his death. Mm hmm. But you add up to uh, all those years. So I think he started when he was 16. Mm. He was very depressed, a very depressed person. That's mm. why he was on that stuff. Mm -hmm. I wish he had a chance to read your book. Uh, it might have it might have saved him. Mm. But uh, from years of depression. But th those uh, the, all that money he spent all those years, mm -hmm. it was millions of dollars. Yeah. Millions of dollars. Yeah. Yeah. It really adds up. It really, really adds up, especially when I when I smoke cigarettes for cigarette smokers. Sometimes people need a pack a day. Mm -hmm. And that's now I don't even know. Back when I quit, it was eight seventy five a pack. So now Ooh. I don't even want to know how, how expensive cigarettes are. Good. Good. Yeah. A pack a day. Let's do that quick number. Just, that's just crazy. Hold on. Let's let's do about my dad did three packs a day. Woo! Till the Seriously? day he died. Are you Til serious? Till the day he died. 
The ceiling in my dad's house was yellow from the nicotine. Wow. I'm talking about a thick yellow too. Three million one hundred ninety-three thousand. No, that's 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 just that's three thousand and thirty-two hundred dollars. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. A year, a year. Oh, okay. If you're spending eight seventy-five times three equals times. Now this is gonna be more. Yeah. Three times that amount. Good grief. So about ninety-six hundred. Your dad was spending a year. A year, times all the years since sixteen to seventy-four. Yeah, I mean that's 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 a lot of money. Add the drugs and then add the alcohol. Mm -hmm. Oof. It's amazing. And anyway. we're, not, we're not we're not judging people. And and I'm not listen, I, I did it all. Okay. I yeah. did it all. And society unfortunately makes it so it's okay and it's normal to go have your drink after you get out of work or go, or let's go have a drink, girl. You know, it's always let's go have a drink. Let's meet up for a drink. Let's go have it. You know, society normalizes this. But why do you think society normalizes this? No, because they want it's going to slow you down. Yes. It's going to it's going to make you deficient. Exactly. It's called a spirit for a reason. Exactly. You're drinking spirits. Right. Literally. Yes, and your liver literally has to take a break from all it's doing already, which is detoxing all these this toxic material in our air and our food and everything that we touch. I mean, it's it's always detoxifying our bodies right now, especially with the world how it is today and how mm -hmm. toxic the world is. So it has to take a break from doing that natural process that is extended right now. And, and it's it's just shot through the roof right now because of how sickly we all are and how toxic this world is mm -hmm. to now detox that alcohol in your body. Yeah. So you're loaded up with toxins at this point when yeah. you're drinking. Yeah. And your it's just not good for and you. And your organs are overworked. Yes. And so think about you need the, the, the fungi is used to create the alcohol. Mm-hmm. And then they call the alcohol spirits. Mm -hmm. The fungi are conscious. Mm -hmm. And so you're drinking conscious, uh, you're drinking these conscious spirits. Mm -hmm. You saw they can control the bugs. I don't know. It's just for me, it just makes sense to just leave it alone. Yeah. Every time you want to drink, take that money and put it into a, um, a, a, a little piggy bank. Mm -hmm. Exactly what you were going to spend that night, 15, 20, 50, 60, 70, dollars, whatever the number is. And then after three months, just look at how much money you saved. Right. Right. That might change your mind. Yeah, that exactly. can go towards a college fund. That can go towards investments. That can go towards your own personal business investment, investing into yourself. Mm -hmm. It can go into a whole life. I know a lot of people that, that I knew growing up, they said they can't afford the whole life insurance. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, if you stop drinking and smoking and put that money into a whole life, you can afford it. Mm -hmm. It's just that don't, you have to make sacrifices to make things a priority. Right. Right. You know? Well, then also really realize why are you drinking? Yeah. Why are you really drinking? Mm -hmm. I had to come and face myself in the mirror and come to a real, real, mm -hmm. real honest conclusion about myself, mm -hmm. which was the fact that I was in a lot of pain mm -hmm. and anguish. And I was not wanting to think about all of my trauma that I've lived through my whole entire life. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to numb it. Mm -hmm. I was trying to numb that pain and I was trying to feel normal in front of people. Mm -hmm. So once you look in the mirror and realize why are you doing these things, mm -hmm. then maybe you can start, you know, getting to the root of these issues and healing some of the parts of yourselves, because yeah. that's what makes it possible for you to become stronger than that drink or stronger mm -hmm. than that cigarettes or stronger yeah. than even the weed. I love weed. I love mm -hmm. it. But you've never seen me smoke because I don't need to smoke. I've actually never seen you smoke. I don't need to smoke, yeah. but I love it. I'll smoke here and there, but I don't need to smoke. Mm -hmm. I just don't. Yeah, but it's great, you know, mm. but once you do the work on yourself and you realize the real reasons as to why are you doing these things, then it makes it easier to stop. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. It becomes you, you become uh, a master of your of your thoughts. Mm -hmm. That's really what it comes down to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're a master of your thoughts. Also, think about it when you're high on weed or when you're high on, on alcohol or when you're you're on drugs in general. Are you thinking and attracting what you really want? Mm. Are you really in full control of your thought process? Because mm. when you're not, your thought process creates your reality. Mm. All these thoughts electrically go out into the universe mm -hmm. and the universe gives it right back to you. Mm -hmm. So are you in full control of your reality? Mm. I don't think you are because if you're shaded and your mind isn't fully aware then how can you control what thoughts go through your mind mm -hmm. and thoughts are manifesting? Yeah. Your reality. Manifesting your reality all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just something to think about guys. We're not bashing anyone. We're just giving you a point of view to consider is really all it is. And telling you with everything, you need to have some level of balance. Don't abuse anything. 
Don't abuse if you enjoy something, okay, but don't abuse it. Don't mm -hmm. abuse it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And take some mushrooms or, you know, just look them up, do some research on them mm -hmm. and, and maybe try to put some of them into your, your routine. Yeah. Try lion's mane if you have brain fog. Seriously, mm -hmm. that's, it, it changed my life. Lion's mane. Look, speaking of lion's mane, your hair's growing back nice. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I So I have these little, these little flyaways all over my scalp mm -hmm. because I don't know if you guys saw the, the biohacking hair episode. Yeah. But when I caught COVID, I lost probably about a third of my hair. She did. Literally. It was all over the floor. It was all over everywhere. I mean, it was it was so awful. And you were telling me, like, I think your hair is falling out. I'm like, whatever. I was just shedding. I saw hair everywhere in the house. Yeah. I was like, what the heck is going well, on people, here? Well, people shed yeah. 100 to 200 strands of hair a day. Not, normally. Yeah, normally. But that level was off yeah, the charts. You, yeah, you said. Yeah. I mean, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there was hair. Every, I had hair coming out of me, my body. I was like, <laughs> "Where's this hair coming from?" All your hair was all over me, in my butt cheeks, everywhere. I'm like, "What is this hair? It's coming out of everything." In my cars, on the floors. I was like, "I think something's wrong with her." No, thought, listen. So it was. Yeah, there was something wrong with me. So this is how I found out because I was in denial. I'm like, "You're just being, you're just being mean." <laughs> no, so. no. I, I was like, "Something's wrong, man." I'm telling you. <laughs> no, listen, it was too crazy. So I took a shower one day and I washed my hair and I out came out. I came of my shower with a ball of hair this big. Mm -hmm. I called you bawling. You I was crying. Bawling. I'm crying. like, yeah. wow. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. So I thought it was because I was on this medication and maybe I was having adverse effects with this medication. I didn't know what was going on. So anywho, I wanted to figure out what was going on with me. So I dove deep into research, um, which I love to do when things aren't right in my life. And I found out that stress and the amount of stress that I was in, that a lot of people were in, that probably 90% of the planet has been in, right? So the stress of the sickness, because mm -hmm. I had the sickness back in December. I had the sickness. I really, I got deathly ill. Okay. I was sick for 11 days. It was bad. It was really, really awful. And I almost died. And it was just, it was just freaking horrible. So mm -hmm. come March, my hair started falling out mm -hmm. and it fell out probably for a good month. Mm -hmm. And, you know, th 30 days of it just, just, just gone. And so it was so thin yeah. right it's still yeah. it's still very thin it's coming although back, although it's coming back i can see the the strands all over my hair mm -hmm. that they're they're all over you guys can't see them but i have strands all over that are about this long yeah and so i've been doing this this hair protocol that mm -hmm. we have actually we we sell it now yeah we because, because we it works. it worked on her so well we actually have the product line i just dropped the link in the chat Mm -hmm. um you can check it out it's an amazing product line you can look at some of the actual testimonials where people have reversed their hair loss yeah uh so if you're suffering from any kind of hair loss from natural balding or from stress or from things like the sickness which is giving people a lot of thinning of hair this will reverse that uh, uh it's been known to reverse it so you can check out check it out there's a video with testimonials you can check it out this is she's a living testimonial mm -hmm. right here I got her some of this right away because I knew the actual company that that created it. Mm -hmm. I said, "Try this." I mean, as soon as you came here, I was like, "Here," and it worked right away. You start, you can start to see the process within the first week or so. You can see that the hair thinning was getting less and less and less, and the shedding was becoming less and less. It probably took it probably took about twenty one days though, to be yeah, honest. Of course, yeah. Of, of within noticeable... a week, but within a week, I noticed it was less hair laying you know what around. I, when you know what I noticed though immediately it was the because it's a hair mask too mm -hmm. and my hair was so dry and brittle mm -hmm. that I did the hair mask and I, I started seeing the moisture come back in my hair mm. almost right away within the first week that probably helped her from breaking off yes exactly wow exactly. okay that's why I started seeing a little bit less yes yeah yes because our hair has these life cycles mm -hmm. and when your body gets stressed whether it's sickness or mm -hmm. or you know a heavy emotional load on you mm -hmm. your your hair follicles their their life sink yeah so they sink together and then it comes it, it stops you you know hair goes from growing mm -hmm. to not growing to yeah. falling out and that's just a normal thing that our hair goes through so when it sinks because usually they're all in different different parts right so you're not losing all your hair at once but when you get sick or stressed that's what happens they sink up and then you just yeah 
And it happens three months after that stressful event, mm -hmm. three to six months after that stressful event. So That's a lot cycle. of people, a lot of people, exactly. It's yeah. a cycle. It's a life cycle of the hair. So what happens is typically happens so, you know, it's not so far, but because it's happening a few months after the event, the yeah. stressful event, you don't even know. You don't make the correlation between yes. the stress and the hair loss. Yes. But it stems from something because that's the life cycle of the hair and the follicle. Mm -hmm. It actually shows up. The the it manifests a yeah. couple of months later. Months so. later, which is why I was so confused. Yeah. I didn't know what was going on. So thank yeah. God I did the research and studied, and thank God for these products because right. honestly, I really, I really did. It really did make a difference. And you can really see if you guys were here, you can mm -hmm. see these tiny little hairs all over my scalp. Yeah. Growing back. I can't put my hair in a ponytail right now because it looks so weird. Because <laughs> it's all growing back. Yeah. But thank yeah. God it's all growing back. It's growing back. It yeah. looks good. And it's just getting uh, very sheen, shiny. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's real coming nice. Back. Yeah. It's coming back. Mm -hmm. So there is hope. Yeah. And don't feel bad if you, you're you were going through the same thing because yeah. a lot of people, a right. lot of people. A lot of people have been going through it. Yes. Before we wrap up, guys, don't forget, there's only a few days left to get shares of Forbidden Knowledge. Right now, we are at uh, how many days left? Six days and three hours left yep. to buy shares. And then it's round two is going to come to an end. Okay. Yes. This is your last. I'm typing in the chat for your last chance to get shares of Forbidden Knowledge. All right. And uh, why, you should, why should you do this? It's a ground floor opportunity with a company that's already making profits, a company that's already uh, in existence and functioning for years, mm -hmm. not a new startup in the garage like Microsoft, Amazon, uh, Macintosh. They also started in the garage and then they also sold shares. But guess what, guys? They, become, they became multi-billion dollar corporations. Mm -hmm. We have passed the garage phase, <laughs> thankfully, and we are well on our way. Our last pre-money valuation was $30 million. Mm -hmm. You can look up the offering statement on the link I just dropped in the chat. Research us. All of our audit, audited financials are public record because they're registered with the SEC. And we are reaching for NASDAQ in 2023. So that means this is a very, very good time for you to get involved with a company that's going places, that's on an upward trend, uh, which is uh, all verifiable. Uh, and you can uh, get shares of Forbidden Knowledge for $1.50 a share right now. I just dropped the link in the chat for you. Uh, so you can go in there, check it out, uh, get your shares. Because we opened this back up for just another like 30 days, right? Yeah, it was the 30. Yeah, we opened it. We could only open it back up for 30 days. Yeah, and now it's uh, coming down to the last six days. And this is it, guys. Then we were moving. We're moving on to something called a Reg A+. Plus. It's uh, going to be registered with the SEC. Uh, the attorneys are almost done with the documentation. All the financial audits from the CPA are already done. Mm -hmm. And everything else we need. We got the, our new transfer agent. We got our Edgar agent. All that stuff is already done and paid for. And now we are getting ready to uplist to uh, get a new valuation and uplist to uh, um, a Reg A+. Plus. So this, this is your last chance to invest in and, round two. In round two. Okay, in round two. Yes. So right. this is your last chance yeah. to invest in round two, which means it's your last chest chance to grab these shares at a dollar fifty. So round one, shares were a dollar. Mm -hmm. So round two, a dollar fifty. So in six days, or really five days at this point, yeah, shares will not be a dollar fifty anymore, yeah. basically. Yeah. You'll still be able to invest, but we don't know the share price. We don't know the and share price. As, you know, it's kind of going yeah. in that direction. Yeah. So. We're building. We're building. So exactly. it's a great opportunity, guys. Ground floor opportunity. Don't forget. Check it out. All the information is there and downloadable. Um, again, the link has been dropped in the chat. If you don't see the link in the chat, if you're on audio, look in the caption of this uh, podcast. Also, in the caption of this video on YouTube, there's also a link to where you can buy shares in round two. Exactly. All exactly. Right. So there's a bunch of links in. Well, there, there's not a bunch of links, but there's the mushroom link for you guys with my coupon code in the description of this video. And there's grounding. There's a grounding link because, you know, I'm obsessed with grounding and writing a book right now about grounding. So um, all those links are in the description. So if you guys, um, you know, need the links, please look in the description. Don't forget to get your shares. Yeah. Five days. We're Absolutely. not opening round two up again. It's impossible. Yeah. We're going into round three. We got to keep moving up, not sideways. Yeah, exactly. exactly. All right. We wanted to help as many people out as we can. 
but there's only so much we can do. It's time for us to move to the next level. Yes, exactly. All oh, right. please like this video and share it too. Yes. I think that this could really help a lot of people. Um, just just even the the medicinal mushrooms that I spoke about. Mm -hmm. I, I really think it can change lives. Look, guys, it mine. no wrinkles. <laughs> <laughs> I only been on for about thirty days, but uh, I can already see the effects. I am a little yes. dark because I have been in the sun nonstop for about a week. Yes. So I'm. I got a lot. I got the melanin popping right now. Melanin popping. <laughs> you got the melanin popping. <laughs> Are you going to do your... <laughs> Makes my teeth more shiny. It does. It does. <laughs> he has superpower teeth. <laughs> <laughs> he warms me with his laser superpower teeth when I'm cold. It's the white hot heat. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the noise that it makes when he does that. When he, <laughs> he shoots his laser beam out of his teeth. That's my, my superpower. <laughs> anyway, it's the inside joke, guys. Anyway, we love you guys. <laughs> we got to get out of here. All right. Yeah, it's, a bit. it's yeah, time. It's time to take a nap. All right. Peace. We love you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you always do that. <laughs> I don't understand. It. <laughs> well, this is the original peace sign. I know. And I'm saying I love you guys. I'm blowing kisses to to everybody. Oh, Say, that's hey, what it was. I, I love saw you guys. doing that. Like you were doing that for the past two episodes. Yeah, no. This is P. This is a real peace sign. I know. So I'm like, Mwah. I love you guys. You know. Okay. <laughs> I'm sending okay. peace and blessings to you. Oh, because yeah, first time you did, you were like. <laughs> I'm like, I, why are we doing it, this? I was <laughs> like, from the, from the third eye, love, you know? Oh, okay. You know All what right. I'm saying? Third eye, love, okay. you know? <laughs> All right. Sounds good. All right, guys. Love you. Guys. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>